Good morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas from Hernandez and Associates. And my name is Estella Hernandez with Hernandez and Associates. And we wanted to go over some of the, the changes, the temporary changes that have been going on since the mm -hmm. governor waiver. We wanted to explain how they're going to be affecting the restaurant industry and a few of the points that uh, we wanted to go ahead and touch on. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to start with to-go orders. So right now, uh, you are allowed to order alcohol with your to-go order, and that's not how it usually is. It's usually different than that. Yes, normally it's with uh, delivery of the food that you could get your alcohol, but now, and you were required to hold a food and beverage permit, but now with the governor's waiver, um, you don't have to have the food and beverage in order to uh, deliver uh, alcohol with your food orders. So before, you couldn't place an order, go to a restaurant, and get, tell them that you wanted them to send a beer for to-go orders. Like say you wanted your lunch, and you order your lunch from a, a restaurant, you couldn't get them to include a, a beer before, right? Correct. Um, now you can even uh, go in and pick up your order. Uh, any uh, to-go orders or pick-up orders and also delivery orders uh, can include alcohol with their food orders. Yes. Okay, so correct. next thing, off-site delivery for food to go, I mean, to, for delivery, mm -hmm. if they brought it to you, like say you ordered uh, beans and rice and tacos, you could get that with a beer or wine, uh, delivered to your house, wherever you may be, that hasn't changed, but what had, has changed is that if you were a mixed beverage holder, right, you mm -hmm. needed to have a food and beverage, that was, you would have to, to have, deliver. you'd have to have an additional permit. Right now, the way they do that is they're waiving that deal. Mm -hmm. You don't need the additional permit. You can just, just do it. Yeah, so. you can go ahead and do off-site deliveries, yes. And you can use a third party or you can deliver it yourself. Um, now, as far as the uh, alcohol that you're delivering, it, cannot, it has to be in the manufacturer's original container. Um, and at this time, the distilled spirits can only be delivered uh, in bottles of 300, uh, not to exceed 375 milliliters um, it cannot be a styrofoam cup a to-go cup that is still in place all of the other requirements are still in place uh, that it has to be delivered with food and in the it's the manufacturer's original container so no styrofoams so i can't get a cup i can't put a cover on it mm -hmm. i can't uh, it has to have come pre-packaged sealed closed Everything how it came from the manufacturer. Correct. I mean, it's like if you were to buy it off store shelves, that's what you would get, mm -hmm. right? And like I said, distilled spirits cannot be more than three, uh, exceed 375 milliliters. And if you are going to make offsite deliveries, and you're going to use a third party. You need to make sure that the third party has a CD permit. It's very important that they have that. Or you can use uh, someone from the restaurant can also deliver, make the delivery of the food with alcohol. Yes, it can be a third party or it can be someone from the restaurant. Uh, the only difference is that the liability, uh, once you once the CD permittee takes the order to go and deliver it for you, then the liability falls on the CD permittee. If it's someone from the restaurant that's going to deliver um, the food with alcohol, then, then the liability will stay with the retailer, with the restaurant that holds the mixed beverage permit. They're, they're not normally like this, but because of uh, all that's going on with the coronavirus and how it's affecting businesses, you know, everybody's in a scramble to figure out what they're going to do. And this is kind of a, the governor's response to uh, kind of a, this huge problem that they're trying to fix and, and make sure that businesses uh, stay in business. The right? restaurants, yeah, basically. Re yes, basically the restaurants. restaurants. Right. Anything else here we're going to add? Uh, no, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, you can always email us and we'll get back to you with uh, any current information that we have. And here's our like, comment, share, subscribe. We're on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube now. Correct. We're here to help our, We're here our, help our people stay in business. Correct. Yes. So yeah, if there's anything else you want to see us talk about, comment below, let us know.